Bilbao Grand Slam is coming to an end and more and more media and officials are visiting the tournament to witness and cover the apotheosis of one of the strongest tournaments in history. In the penultimate round we had Anand vs Topalov, Ivanchuk against Aronian and Rajabov vs Carlsen. Unfortunately during this ninth round again it was raining cats and dogs. The journalists who are working next to the glass cube, or rather their computers and all the wires, had to be protected from the water with a kind of plastic sail. Of course, the players were not bothered by all this. Anand and Topalov drew fairly quickly today after many pieces were exchanged right after the opening. Not long after that, they were allowed to leave their drawn rook ending for what it was. Magnus Carlsen didn't need too much of his energy drinks today because despite the fact that he had lost a pawn somewhere, he was never really in danger of losing against Rajabov. Levan Aronian had enough reasons to be slightly nervous as he was facing some problems in an ending against Ivanchuk. As he said himself, here he blundered his f-pawn and he had to trade it for the a-pawn but it was just very good for white. Almost everybody feared for Aronian's life but as Ivanchuk got into time trouble he missed the win. In this position he should have brought his knight back into play because rook c5 check can be answered by rook e5 and then rook c1 g6 check followed by knight d4 e6 check will be decisive. However in the game rook d4 allowed black to chase back the white king after which it's probably a draw. What follows is the final phase of the game where the players play on until there is only a white knight left on the board. Here Ivanchuk realizes that his opponent is escaping. This is what disappointment looks like. I have to play for a win and 
and then blunder to my opponent f5. Well, and of course I, I, I mean, I was supposed to lose if my opponent would play precisely. At first, Ivanchuk was too disappointed to attend the press conference, but then he recovered somewhat and came to the stage anyway. Antes de la ronda de hoy, no, no sé si todavía sigue siendo igual, supongo que sí, tú eras el número uno del mundo, es decir, si la lista en lo se publicase hoy, tú hubieras aparecido en el número uno del mundo. ¿Eso para ti es algo especial? No. <risa> nada especial. Estoy pensando solo en el torneo, nada más. Ajá. 